The Fat Controller's Engines One evening, Thomas had returned with his last train to the junction. Percy and Toby were also at the junction. Hello, Thomas, said Percy. Lovely evening we're having. Indeed we are, said Thomas. You know, my driver told me that I'm going to the big station tomorrow, he continued. You know, I used to work there. It's an amazing place. I used to would love it there. Thomas, cut in Toby. Me and Percy are going to the big station too. Station master told us. Did he not tell you that me and Percy were going? I, uh, I, well, I, um, that's, I... Moving the subject, Percy cut in. I think something's up. Toby looked up at the sky. I don't see anything. Down here, silly! Laughed Thomas. Well, pardon me, said Toby. But how can something be up if it's down, Thomas? Look! Look! Said Thomas, look! Thomas, don't... Yes, yes, I know, Toby, but look! Seven engines from the other railway were coming along the line. Oi! Percy! It's me, Jinty and Pug! Hope you didn't forget about us! Hello, Jinty! Hello, Pug! Said Percy excitedly. Those are friends of mine from the mainland. I don't know the others, though. Jinty, Pug, and the other engines whistled loudly as they passed through the station. What is all this? Asked Thomas. The Fat Controller has a plan, replied his driver, and he's gonna tell it to us. Now come on! So they followed the engines to the big station where all the other engines were at. The Fat Controller was waiting for them there. The people of England, he began. Read this in the books and papers. But they do not believe that we are real. Shame! Cried Percy. The Fat Controller glared at him. Percy subsided. So, he continued, I'm taking my engines to England to show them. Hooray! 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 Cheered the engines. The Fat Controller held his ears. Silence! He bellowed. We start the day off tomorrow at 8 a.m. Meanwhile, as these engines have kindly come from the other railway, they have come to take your place while we are gone. You will show them your work tomorrow, he finished. However, he subtly continued, I understand that some of us have a little bit of <coughs> history amongst each other. He looked at Gordon, Duck, and one of the visiting engines. I do not want any interference in our activities tomorrow. Understood? <sighs> yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Top replied the three engines. Good, said the Fat Controller. Now, let's all get some shut-eye. We have a big day tomorrow. Alright, Patriot, be careful with the coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patriot, slow down! Patriot, you well, absolute you idiot! How did you I, even I, mess I, up I, your I, express I, engine? Well, As Annie and Clubbo was coming with Thomas to London, Thomas was teaching a gentian pug how to run the branch line. After the run, Thomas was boasting about his race with Birdie. He was excited. I wish through the tunnel, he said, and then stopped an inch from the buffers. Just like this. Wait, Thomas, no! No one was seriously hurt, but the back of Thomas was severely damaged. They telephoned the Fat Controller. Oh, dear. Well, I'll call it some man at the works. But if they can't fix Thomas in time, then, well, we'll have to leave without him. The next morning, the engines waited outside the junction. Henrietta stood behind Duck. The Fat Controller called her a curiosity. I wouldn't dream of leaving you behind. She felt very grand indeed. Gordon, Henry, and James stood at the other platform. They whistled impatiently for Thomas. The Fat Controller paced the platform. He looked at his watch. One minute more. Beep, beep, beep! Don't leave us! Don't leave us behind! cried Thomas as he came into the station. Annie and Clubber twitched anxiously. It isn't quite late. I hope we're not late. Thomas! The Fat Controller bellowed. I am most displeased with you. You nearly upset my arrangements. Thomas felt quite abashed. The Fat Controller boarded Henrietta. The guard blew the whistle and waved his green flag. The engines whistled, Look out, London! Here we come! And the cavalcade puffed off. The engines stood side by side in a big airy shed. Hundreds of people came to see them. 
and climb in and out of their cabs every day. They liked it at first, but felt presently very bored and were glad when they had to leave. People came and cheered to them as they returned home. We're glad to see you home, they said. Those other railway engines did their best, but nothing can compare to our fat controller's engines.